So guys, welcome to my back garden. So, I've got this absolutely huge shed in my new house that the previous owner built. They were a carpenter. And uh, what he's done, he's built this big shed. Excuse the mess, because it's just a storage. The storage at the minute. But this side of the shed, you know where this is going, don't you guys? This is gonna be my fish room, or the lab, as I'm gonna call it. So we've got a couple of tanks, um, just testing for leaks in a couple of them. That's my old um, Aqua Marine 900 from our previous videos that you'll have seen. Uh, if you haven't seen that, check back on my channel. That's my first uh, reef tank that I did. This is a little Nano that I've had a while. I'm just testing it for leaks at the moment. Everything's okay. Um, I had to re-silicone uh, re the back, the baffle, um, yeah, the baffle on the back, because uh, it were when I'm filling the main tank of it, we're going into the overflow before it got to the top. So that's sorted. So what we've got <clears throat> on that side, this side here, we've got a bench. This bench is eight and a half foot by two foot, and it stands about three and a half foot tall. So. What's going to be happening on here, guys, is a six foot by two foot by one foot frag tank. And I'm going to have LEDs over the top. I might go for T5s, I don't know. I just don't want to overload the circuits in this uh, this shed. But I do have electric points in here and plenty of lighting already. So there's going to be LEDs, I think, above that. And this is going to be on this bench here. So we've got um, a little two foot by one foot by one and a half foot tank that I picked up from a customer while I were at work. I got this for a fiver, so I can't complain with that. That's my old sump that was with my Aquamarine 900. That's gonna be used as the sump, and I'm thinking of using this as a refugium or a breeding tank. The Aquamarine 900 will be used as my quarantine, and this little one I haven't decided yet. Uh, I've got a seven year old son, and he wants to get into the hobby, so I'm thinking of letting him have a try with Tropical freshwater tropical fish just to see how he goes these two cabinets here if you can see the previous uh, owner of the house has used these as storage for whatever I'm going to be taking these shelves out because they do just come out sorry for my cigarette being in the photo but and I'm going to have tanks one on top of the other going up and down there and I'm going to be using them for things like cleanup crew things like that I'm going to be setting up a bit of a a bit of a home business kind of thing but just an extension of my hobby so if I have anything I'll be selling it on but I'm definitely going to be doing the fragging station you see there I've got 25 kilograms of well it was live rock that was in my aquamarine 900 um, I'm just letting it dry out it's been sat there now for about two months because um, it was full of Aptasia um, Xenia, Xenia, things like that, um, Asterina stars, things that I don't want. So I just thought I'll let it dry out, I'll let it die, and then what I'm going to do is that um, water is going to be put into that new tank, and I'm going to cure that, bring it back live, and then I'm going to use it in this facility. So I've got plenty of space underneath for the sumps to go. Excuse all the boxes, it's just storage room at the minute. And I've got this bench here. It's just a makeshift at the moment, but I'm going to turn that into another bench on that side. And that's going to be uh, a side where I can keep all my dry goods and do any fragging that I want to do. Set up a bit of a fragging station. I've got a stainless steel um, plate to go down, so when I'm doing fragging and things like that. I've also got a, um, a saw, an electric saw that I can use uh, when I'm doing all that. So that's it guys, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to tidy up this room, it's going to have a bit of a spruce up, a bit of a paint, you can see that there's a bit of damp damage, I've replaced the roof on this shed, I've refelted the roof, but we have a little bit of damp, so it's going to be all painted and uh, damp coated and things like that. But everything is ready, that bench is going to be used, because it's nice and strong, that one I'm going to strengthen for the rest of the rest of the stuff, but that's it guys. Thanks for watching my video. Um, if you're interested, subscribe, start following this project. Um, I'm going to be doing a weekly update on this project as well as my weekly reef update on my beast, my display tank. But the idea is 
this room is going to be the lab for the main tank so anything if fish that i buy quarantined in here corals i buy <coughs> i'll be growing in here fragging any corals that get too big in my display i'll be fragging down growing them possibly selling swapping trading however you want to say it and uh, that's how it's going to go so if you're interested guys give me give me a like let, let me know in your comments what you think and um, subscribe thanks a lot guys see you later